Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm showing you all the details of the new MG HS. So here it is, the new facelifted version. And let's start with the changes on the front where you can see the new grill. Not only it is different and its shape, but also the pattern for the inside of the grill is different as well. Now you saw the indicators and uh, I can unlock the car. You will see them again. This is the luxury trim. So there are three trims available, standard, comfort, and luxury. And then on luxury, you have the indicators down there, just like on the MG4, for example. Now, the lights are also new, slim LED lights, very nice. And I think overall, the car has this muscular appearance on the road with this bigger grille and slimmer lights. I think they really nailed it with this front. Tell me in the comments, do you agree with me? And uh, also, I need to mention this color. So this is the new color available for the MG HS. It's called Magic Gray here in Croatia. On the UK configurator, I think I saw the Urban Gray uh, name. So it is the new color for this car and it looks phenomenal. It actually looks different depending on how you look at it and uh, how much light there is. So now, for example, it looks between gray and brown, I would say. Then also, uh, if there's a lot of sun, it looks completely different. So that is really cool. I will put the link here uh, or you can find it on my channel. I also filmed it on a sunny day. So there it looks a bit different. 4 meters 61 is the length of the car. So you have the pronounced bumpers. Uh, that means the car is a bit longer than the predecessor. Now the wheels are also new. 18 inch wheels on the luxury trim with the dual tone. I think this is an improvement compared to the predecessor because uh, the predecessor had like the silver wheels. Now this looks more serious in my opinion and definitely makes the car stand out. Car also features the robust wheel arches and you can spot some chrome here on the side as well. Now I want to hear your thoughts on the design. Moving on to the rear of the car where you can immediately spot the new lights and the new bumper as well as the new exhaust pipes. But let's start with those lights. So the LED tail lights are standard on second and of course on the third uh, package. So comfort and luxury, they do get this beautiful LED tail lights. Look at the signature, gorgeous. And uh, then you have also the HS lettering, MG logo. Uh, here is the rear view camera and the bumper is also different. So you see pronounced details here and also the exhaust pipe. Now this finish for the exhaust pipe is now different. It used to be like the round one. Now it's this one. Tell me in the comments, which one do you prefer? I think both look great. And uh, yeah, it's always nice to see the real exhaust on the modern day car. Now the diffuser is also very cool. And uh, yeah, well, let's unlock it. So you see the indicators are now here. So change of design for the indicators as well. If I press this, electric tailgate opens. And here we are greeted with 463 liters. Uh, lovely square shape. And look at this. Also a lot of room down there. Of course, if you want maximum privacy, you can pull this cover. And yeah, this is how it looks. Of course, even more room when you fold the seats. And this is the button to close the tailgate. And yeah, I think the car has got a very nice robust styling. Uh, the changes aren't that big. But I think they make the car stand out even more, especially on the front where we have the completely new bumper and the grille and the lights. But now it is time to check out the interior. So uh, I filmed also the facelifted version that had the style package inside with the red details. But here we have the standard interior for the luxury trim. So we will see it soon from driver's perspective. I just want to show you here the... Uh, door panel which has some lovely materials and look at this also with these uh, basils that are very nice on the buttons for the windows and then here you have the switches for the mirrors 
and of course a lock and unlock red stitching here and a decent amount of from here and this is divided into two sections and uh, yeah well mg lettering greets you upon entering the car and then these are the seats for the luxury trim some nice materials and you see also the red stitching but let's see it from driver's perspective starting with a wider view i will actually turn on the car and uh, you see the animation mg logo here the main touchscreen the 10.1 inch one and the 12.3 inch digital cockpit in front of the driver and uh, the dashboard has some nice materials here air vents roller here i will change the view and show you more details all right then in front of us the three spoke steering wheel with the lovely red stitching mg logo bunch of buttons here and the digital cockpit in front of the driver main touchscreen is a 10.1 inch one and actually let me change the ac so here is how you can do it so it is on touch but it is pretty easy to use it actually and uh, let's go back to home here i will go through the infotainment system in a moment but let's just check out this middle section here so you do have some shortcuts in here then this is for the vehicle settings home and then to change the volume this is the gear selector for the seven speed dct automatic transmission and uh, yeah here you have the start stop system which can be turned on or off and uh, some other buttons as well 360 view so this is the view from cameras and uh, actually this rear view camera could be better in my opinion and then the 3d view look at this this is very cool and also useful when you are on tight parking or you know you need to go somewhere where there are a lot of uh, curbs around and you don't want to damage your nice wheels which you just saw uh, so yeah then you can turn this on and the parking assist lanes dynamic and static dynamic static or you can turn them off and you can also uh, put this so when corner lights are active start the 360 view and uh, yeah well now uh, here you have also some other buttons electronic parking brake and auto hold the cup holders and this roller in the middle the middle armrest and some storage area which can be cooled so that's nice and this can be and this can be moved as well let's check out the glove compartment there we go let me show you the details of the infotainment system so you have some widgets in here and then this is like the main home screen setup you have a bunch of settings here for example display settings day or night mode or automatic one you can set the units and go back here audio settings So you can have the beeping or not tell me in the comments what do you prefer and uh, for now let's keep it on let's go back system settings and uh, here are the vehicle settings so you can adjust the lighting ambient light settings and not sure if camera is catching it now you can see it i think but uh, of course stay tuned for the night point of view drive there i will show you uh, how they look uh, in their full glory and you also have the pulsing light so for example they are now pulsing not sure if you can see that on the camera but uh, yeah that is pretty cool actually Uh, once again, I will show you that uh, during our night point of view drive. And those are the ambient light settings. Let's go back. And uh, driver assist. 
This car really has a lot of driver assist and safety systems and you can configure them here. There we go. And driver handling, stability control on or off. And then here, the auto blower level and the multi-zone temperature, auto heated rear window and uh, other settings so you can adjust the tailgate open position if you have uh, let's say a lower roof in your garage you can put it to lower setting and uh, yeah you can also adjust the steering wheel button so this is the one and you can have this either as a smartphone car or home menu let's go back and uh, yeah well those are the vehicle settings and if you go back to home here is where you can see the navigation and of course stay tuned once again for the night point of view drive there i will show you this in action as well and also notice that here you can adjust the settings for the navigation view and also adjust the warnings and route preferences and stuff like that and here is where you have the shortcut for the AC you can also adjust uh, the heated seats for both driver and passenger if you want to turn off the AC you can do it here let me show you also the sun visor there we go it has the led light this model is equipped also with the panoramic sunroof so let me open it for you to show you how that looks oh, it's nice to have that in car so that's pretty much it when we talk about the interior here from driver's perspective now let's see the situation at the rear bench 2 meters 72 is the wheelbase so unchanged compared to the predecessor you see the tinted windows on this car and here similar pattern to the pattern on the front doors mg lettering greets you upon entering this uh, rear bench as well and now without further ado let's jump on board and no problems whatsoever here for my knees. The front seat is adjusted for me. And look at those cool uh, design elements on the seats. This is your view on the front. Uh, there are air vents here as well as two USB ports and some storage area in the middle. There is the armrest and additional storage room. So that's cool. Tell me in the comments, what are your thoughts? This is how it looks, so still some room left, but you may notice that I changed the incline of the rear bench, so you can adjust it, and now I will show you a more relaxed position as well. So there we go, now plenty of room left on 1 meter 87, and yeah, this is definitely a nice and comfortable place to sit. MGHS comes equipped with the 1.5 liter four cylinder turbocharged petrol engine that is producing 162 horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque. Acceleration from 0 to 100 is 9.9 .9 seconds, while the top speed is 190 kilometers per hour. Other option is the plug in hybrid, and then the model is called the EHS. So tell me in the comments what would be your choice. Let's do another walk around this time with the indicators turned on. So there we go. Look at them nicely integrated into the bumper on the luxury trim. I also love the signature for those new data running LEDs. Beautiful, beautiful lighting signature and beautiful design of the LEDs as well. And let us now move on to the rear. There we go. Okay guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Do subscribe. We are now going on a point of view test drive and do subscribe. See you on the next one. Bye bye.